Hey ya uh, everybody, it's your bro, hope you're doing well, and in this video we're going to discuss priority cues in computer science, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hey ya, uh, what's going on everybody? So, priority cues. A priority queue is a FIFO data structure, first in, first out. However, a major difference with priority queues is that before we start polling and serving elements, we put them in some sort of order. Higher priority elements are served first, before elements with lower priority. So here's an example. Let's say that we have some student GPAs, and we'll place them all within a queue, and then a priority queue, and take a look at the differences. So let's create a queue. The data type is queue, and we are going to insert some doubles, some GPAs. I'll name this queue equals new. Now queues are actually interfaces, and we can't implement them directly, so we need to use a class that utilizes the queue interface. One that I know of is a linked list. Then finish instantiating it. Now to add data to a queue, we use the offer method. Queue dot offer, and then pass in a GPA. Let's make sure that these are not in order. Uh, how about a 3.0? Then the next student has a, let's say 2.5. Then a 4.0, 1.5, and 2.0. Okay, now let's display the elements of our queue. One easy way in which we can do that is to use a while loop. And this is our condition. We'll continue this while not logical operator queue dot is empty method. While our queue is not empty, pull each element and display it. So within a print line statement, let's use q.pull to display and remove each element, beginning with the first one and then working our way to the end. So this will display the elements within my queue. So these are in first come, first serve order. Whatever element we were offered first, we are serving that element first. If an element was added last, well then it's served last. So that's a standard queue. Now with a priority queue, we're going to arrange them in some sort of order before we actually pull these elements. So let's change our linked list to a priority queue and run this again. And let's take a look at the differences. Okay, these are all in order now. So if we're working with numbers like doubles, these are arranged in ascending order, beginning with the smallest element. Let's pretend that these are grade point averages, GPAs, why might we want to put these in order? Let's say whatever student performed the worst gets two hours of free tutoring. Whichever student performed second worst gets one hour of free tutoring. And third gets half an hour of free tutoring. Now, if you need these in descending order, well, there's one change that we're going to make. Within the constructor, we can pass in a comparator. But that's a little advanced for us, and we haven't discussed that yet. So there is a default comparator that we can use found within collections. Collections dot reverse order method. So these elements will be in reverse order then. In this example, let's say that whichever student has the best GPA will receive, I don't know, a gold medal, like the Olympics. And the second best student will receive a silver medal, then a bronze medal. And then every student after that, I guess, will receive nothing. But that's okay though, they got some free tutoring in the last example. Okay, now let's change the data type. Let's say that these are now strings, and let's put these in standard order. So let's change these to strings. Maybe this student has a B, this one has a C, A, F, and what are we missing? D. If we have a priority queue of strings, well then these elements will be in alphabetical order. So if we need these in reverse alphabetical order, again, we can pass in a comparator. And then one that we can use is from collections. Collections dot reverse order. And these elements within our priority queue are now within reverse alphabetical order. So yeah, that's a priority queue. Think of it like a queue. However, we first sort these elements based on a certain priority we will pull and serve the elements with the highest priorities first and work our way to elements with lower priority. So yeah, that's a priority queue. If you would like a copy of this code, I'll post this to the comment section down below. And well, yeah, those are priority queues in computer science.